This is the ASUS VivoBook F510UA. It's currently a thin and lightweight Full HD wide view laptop carrying the 8th generation Intel Core i5-8250U processor with 8GB of DDR4 RAM, 128GB SSD, and a 1TB hard drive. Does carry a 3.1 USB Type-C as well as Asus Nano Edge Display and a Fingerprint Reader. It also comes with an extra USB 3.0 port as well as an HDMI, two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card slot, and some light indicators. The keyboard I have found is kind of cheesy. It's a little plasticky. The Fingerprint Reader does seem to work well. And the best thing about this laptop is the fast boot up time. They currently installed the operating system of Windows 10 on the SSD drive, so boot up is expected to be around 10 seconds. One of the things I also like about this laptop is that when you launch the programs from the SSD drive, they are so much more faster, it's not even funny. Adobe Premiere Pro has no problem launching from the SSD drive in under about 10 seconds as well. And this is way faster than my current computer, which is a desktop Ryzen 5. So I am actually very impressed with the overall speed of the boot up times. I think I'm going to have to invest in an SSD for my desktop. Back to this laptop, one of the complaints, well it's not really a complaint, but probably one of the drawbacks is, is if you use heavy LUTs with any of your products, or your projects I should say, then it's definitely going to slow down your speed for exporting the footage and rendering. Rendering times on this, this is a 5 minute 30 second footage with some heavy LUT usage. And um, right you're seeing on the screen now is real time. So it's about 4 times the length and time to render it out. So it's about 20 minutes for a 5 minute 30 second uh, piece of footage. I guess that's actually pretty fast considering this is a laptop for less than $600. I was actually quite impressed to be honest with you. But what was even more impressive was when I removed the LUT. So I completely removed the adjustment layer and I re-ran the render project to see how much the speed would actually increase. And to my shock and amazement, it actually beat the overall time of the footage. So again, I'm using the same 5 minute and 30 second footage, but this time without adding any LUTs or any effects, just doing quick, clean, dry edit, the export time and rendering time came out to be just under 5 minutes. So I think that's actually a pretty good thing. Um, for a lot of YouTubers that don't want to use effects. So if you're looking for a laptop that is really cheap and is great for video editing, this is definitely the one. This is the best laptop I have ever used performance-wise. Now I wanted to run a benchmark, but I don't really run a lot of benchmarks, so I just used userbenchmark.com and I went ahead and uh, ran some specs and there's some pretty good scores. Overall, the PC is performing way above expectations with an 86th percentile. And that's pretty good. It seems the only drawback to this laptop was the graphics card. But if you look here, uh, the processor is scoring an 81.9%, which is actually above performance expectations, as well as the um, graphics card. And uh, the Toshiba drive, the SSD, is performing above performance specs as well as the Seagate one terabyte drive and the uh, Samsung RAM is actually doing pretty good 42.7 percent the latency part is gonna wear off right around six gigabytes or six megabytes 
So expect to have some issues there. Game testing performance, I played Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is a game that is highly underestimated as far as the 3D rendering goes. You kind of need a pretty good machine to play this game without any uh, drop frames or anything like that. And as you can see, the game actually surprisingly plays pretty well on this laptop. I was very, very surprised. I did not expect that this game would play well at all on this laptop. But as you can see, I'm using my mouse, by the way. I'm not using that little trackpad. Um, I tried using the trackpad, but it was just horrible. <laughs> so I decided to use my uh, mouse. And um, it's pretty smooth. Shadows are pretty good. Uh, the 3D modeling is actually very, very good. And um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of drop frames. I can definitely see some drop frames, but as far as it being a laptop for less than $600, this is actually quite a gaming system. I was actually surprised. I did not think it would hold up that good. And if you look at the details, even the shadows and everything, colors-wise, everything seems to be blending really nice. Things are moving fast and quick, and it seems that when I move my mouse really fast, that's when I see kind of the, the choppiness of the jump frames. So I'm probably losing some frames there, but overall the experience is still quite pleasurable, and um, I can play pretty smoothly. I don't really have any problem with this at all. I'm actually very, very pleased. This is quite a gaming system. Again, for a laptop less than $600, you really, you just can't beat it. I mean, this is bar none, an excellent gaming system because this game, Benny and the Ink Machine, particularly chapter three, is really hardcore 3D. And even on some desktops, you're gonna see a lot of lag and this is actually playing quite smoothly. So um, again, you, it's not perfect. You can see the drop frames, but um, it's, it's definitely playable. And mind you, I am using a screen recorder while this is playing. Overall, I would have to say the Asus uh, Viva book or the vivo book f510ua is an excellent system in fact i would say it is actually the best laptop for less than six hundred dollars you're just not going to beat it i mean you're going to get eight gigabytes of ddr4 ram 128 gigabyte ssd drive plus a one terabyte hard drive you get one usb type c port um, the Nano Edge display, which is a thin bezel going all the way around. And let me tell you, this is the lightest laptop I have ever, ever held in my hands. This thing is so light, when the packaging came in the mail, I thought it was a mistake. I couldn't believe how light this laptop was. Battery life that I tested um, was actually pretty good. It did not go eight hours. So it only went about six and a half hours, but mind you, I was playing games and watching some videos on it. So, you know, that makes a big difference and drains some of the power as well. But again, this is a wonderful, wonderful laptop and I highly recommend it for everyone. You'd be doing yourself a favor.